What objective assessment tests can you use for inguinal-related groin pain? Find out in this study by Haybor et al. 2023. So what's inguinal-related groin pain? It's when patients have activity-related pain in the inguinal canal region without an inguinal hernia, and they're recognizable pain on palpation of the inguinal canal. It's much more common in males and females, and it's more likely when your symptoms are aggravated by resisted abdominal testing and during your valsalva, coughing or sneezing. And in this study, Haber et al. had two assessors perform a standardized examination on 44 athletes to find out which inguinal-related groin pain assessment tests are most accurate. And what they find? With your abdominal resistance tests, the most prevalent with 49% was the cross test. That's basically like a sit-up with shoulder resistance on the contralateral side and resisted hip flexion on the ipsilateral side. And four out of five of your athletes reported pain during at least one of the abdominal palpation tests. Palpation with scrotal invagination, pain was present in 94% of patients. So what's your takeaways? Palpating the inguinal area with scrotal invagination, it's not something we're all trained or comfortable performing. And if that's you, you'll miss about 10% of inguinal related groin pain. When you combine the patient's history with abdominal palpation tests and abdominal resistance, if you make sure it's your patient's recognizable pain in that inguinal area with these tests, you'll classify about 90% of patients with inguinal-related groin pain.